Okay, if you own a Domino, uh, the uh, DF500, this and, and this accessory right here is, you know, well worth the money. But there are times when I want to use this this machine face up, basically, so I can see what's going on with my settings and uh, and the switch. It just it's it's much easier for me to use. So as I I was intrigued by the woodpeckers offset base that they have and um, I decided that after looking at it I think it would be pretty easy to make one and I did make this version and it, it, it was really straightforward and easy to make it took me a little over a, a day I suppose but uh, it's it's fantastically accurate it's set up for three quarter inch material uh, if I want to change th you know uh, and, and uh, the, the center plunge point, all I need to do is change this spacer. Um, it's about three and a half inches long. Uh, the holes are two inches on center so that whatever I make my, my new spacer out of, I know that all I have to do is drill two inch on center holes. I can bring the fence up or down. You know, I could, I could probably end up making you know some uh, quarter inch thick material and just uh, stack spacers as well and uh, do it that way quarter inch or eighth inch whatever, whatever thickness spacer you want to make to uh, to jack this thing up and down but granted if you want to go thinner you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to take this block out but 95 percent of the work I do is with three quarter inch material so I like the way it's set up right now uh, it's almost dead dead center on three quarter. When you put it on plywood, it's slightly offset toward the bottom, but I don't have a problem with that either. So uh, it's 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 very stable. Let me get this out of the way. Very stable. It's not going to scratch my work because I've got everything uh, countersunk below the surface here on this plate. Uh, it it goes on and off with just removing these two. Uh, screws here and uh, I'm back to uh, square one with you know putting it away or whatever so I'm, I'm very pleased with the way it turned out and um, expense wise it just, it just basically is some scrap I had laying around and then bolts and these uh, thumb thumb nuts are probably and the knob are, are the most expensive thing that you're going to end up buying I even had this plastic laying around for my my uh, my line here, my scribe line for lining up the uh, the domino when you plunge it. So let me show you how it, how I built it, and then you'll see as I go along how it, how well it works as uh, as well. So stay tuned.